Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 3 Divine Wind. And this will be a d Divine Wind. As you can see here, a unified Japan is among us. So sweet looking. I, I do like the red though. It looks it looks kinda cool. Uh oh yeah, looks looks really cool, I think. Anyway, um we're here in fifteen thirty three. We have n no infamy because we are a new country, among other things, of course. Uh, right now, we're going to build some, uh, build some cogs for a particular reason. Uh, look, look what we have here. Uh, looks like Korea's guaranteeing my independence, the Manchus guarantee my independence, and the Ming is guaranteeing my independence. Very interesting how that works. So these three nations here are guaranteeing my independence. Wonder why? Guess they're kind of scared. Who knows? It could be because they're scared. Anyway, um, we've we're doing pretty well for ourselves, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's decrease my military spending for right now. Even though I'm kind of building a uh, a navy right now. Uh, let's see. Still losing inflation, which is great. I got high uh, stability going on there. Uh, got uh, I still have ducats coming in, which is great. Now, ooh, I got production I need to put in place. Looks like Takibana wasn't really putting uh, any production. Well, at least building production. So um, let's uh, let's do that. And because I'm, I'm, I am, I do get tired of the magistrates running out. Uh, I'll just keep doing this. I do get irritated by the idea that you need magistrates to build something, so uh, I'll just do that for right now. I know, kind of cheap, kind of uh, whatever, whatnot, but yeah, it's a necessary evil, right? I think so. I think it's a very necessary evil to do something like that. Alright, so we're down to one ducket. I won't do any kind of, uh... only did the infamy one. And that's pretty much it. It kind of affected the prestige, too, but that's okay. I, I do stay away from uh, using uh, this kind of cheat right there. Uh, for these guys here, eh, i say it's all... It's all legit. <laughs> I say just get it all out there. All right. Um, I haven't used any codes for stability, of course, which is quite nice. Because I don't have to. I mean, you saw my uh, pain and suffering, and well, I was trying to get out of the negatives. It's all legit. All right. So we got some far away places to go. Now, uh, since we've, since I did that for some particular reason, ooh, look at that, nice. That is very good looking. All right, so we've got uh, some places to go, people to meet, some asses to kick. So let's actually put some uh, into our navy. I know that's going to affect the line technology quite a bit. But kind of a necessary thing. Um, let's see right there. Use the rest, rest of my magistrates to put in uh, commission painting. Uh, let's see. Excuse me. Ugh. That did not feel good. All right. Uh, losing, still losing inflation, which is nice. For, uh, fourteen point one percent. Very nice. Got my navy here. Not sure how they they can't really go that far. So, but I think as long as they, I don't think, I don't think even the coast affects it. I think I don't know. Are you still affected by the coast? Yes, you are. Oh no, not really. Oh yeah, you are. Okay. All right, because you're still f okay. You're further away from the homeland. Makes sense. 
Okay, and the Ming have gone that far down into uh, Asia. Fair enough. Disrupted hunt. Hmm. Seems like uh, while you're hunting for the for your weapon for weapons, your enemies have taken advantage of your absence. Wait, what? What enemies are you talking about? I have no enemies. Well, uh, not right now, anyway. I got merchants. I got colon. I don't have colonists yet. I'll get colonists very soon. Well, let's see what I can do. I want to invest to some naval now. Some government tech. All right. So my government, my naval are going to be my up most important things to go for it now. I do need... Ah, that works great too. I'll do that as well. Because uh, I do need some money, of course. I do need my inflation to go down, which is kind of what I'm doing right, right here. And also invest in my navy and my government. At least put that as my uh, important ones right now. My production will be done pretty soon, which is, it just increases by 1%. At least the efficiency of it, so that's not really a big deal. Um, now I can do all the normal things a uh, normal country would do now. Uh, and f kind of uh, increase relations with my neighbors go to war with them properly and all that fun stuff I mean I don't have a person to go to anymore which is quite nice I do have a little bit of freedom left I can increase relations here I don't need a military engineer I hardly use military engineers um, you know what fun patriots There. Spy infiltration. Oh yeah, Japanese guy w would be perfect for a place like I don't know, a jury. <laughs> or a dire. Yeah. Adrian. Um, so, get one more inst stability, which is great, and it looks like some patron Ah, some rebels, looks like, in this blue province. I wonder who this blue province belongs to. Huh. Wish I could send my navy out there to investigate. Of course, that can't happen. Alright. Let's get everybody together now. Alright. Let's get these guys together too. Combine those. What are you doing? Get in the port. Get into that port. Thank you. Alright, do I need. I think I got all the constables covered. Yes, I do. Okay, so I got those, got those, and got those. 13 ships. Okay. And I got all of this land to colonize. But I don't have any colonists. That's the sad part about it. Not until Tech 9. There we go. Got that now. I'm getting kind of impatient. <sighs> hmm. Impatience is re really uh, sometimes isn't a, my virtue right now, or isn't one of them right now. <sighs> I gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. Blah blah blah. Patient, patient. There's like nothing to do. Well, I could go after Korea, but they're allied with the uh, Khmer. 
but they also have it. Uh, uh, they also have the Ming Inner Sphere of Influence. Now the Ming, if you guys really didn't see my previous videos, tend to be a pain in the ass. Now when they came over to invade, they weren't that much of a pain in the ass. However, it's kind of different when you're uh, sending troops to an island compared to, I don't know, you sending your troops to a mainland. Just saying. Okay. Looks like they don't have a... I think I... Pretty much wiped out their navy, if I recalled. Oh, nope. There it is right there. Yes, with their 38 ships. I'm going to need a huge navy. I'm going to need a big navy. I'm going to have to do Overlord style navy. Oof. Alright. Are you in the Ming's influence? Yes, you are. So are you. You know what? I'm going to see if I can do something. Alright, let's let Let's do a little foreign policy here. I pissed off quite a bit of people around me. What about you? Are you... Anybody's realm? No, you're not. Don't look like it anyway. I could be missing it. Ah, oh, the Ming refuses trade. Those bastards. Got no cast of bill eye on them. That sucks. Unless. Hmm. Unless I do something like. No, I can't even do that, can I? Damn. Alright, let's sink. If I want to declare war on you, I couldn't. I couldn't even do any of those fun stuff. Hmm. Or do you. Over right here. No. Nothing. Okay. Who are you down there? Hmm. I'm tempted to go after you for some reason. You seem isolated, but yeah, I will probably be isolated too if I go down there. <sighs> tempting, tempting, tempting. I do need government tech up. Be kind of irritated with the government tech. <sighs> Alright, folks. <sighs> Getting a little irritated um, because it's going so slow. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's another way to do something. Uh, type in invest government underscore tech and then type in the amount. The amount you can actually really do is uh, 99,999. However, I'm just going to do like a thousand. Or how much do I need? Oh, I need. Okay, so I need about five thousand or so. Oh, nope. I forgot about other things that included. There we go. That works. So now I got level seven. Eh, there we go. Now I got another idea. Sweet. Ah, thank you for another idea. Oh, I need a trade technology of seven. Okay, we'll go back over here. Ah, my trade's almost up to seven, so I will actually wait. See me patiently for that to rise. And since I'm kind of way ahead, it's going to take a little while to do any more research on government techs. <laughs> 
All right, let's. Fifteen forty-five. Uh, let's give it a little nudge. Let's just give it a little nudge. Uh, there we go. That was a nice little nudge. La di da, la di da. Be done in April, May. <sighs> Patience, wearing thin. La di da. Oh, March. That's even better. I like March. March is good. I think I like March. All right. Um. Ah, there we go. Now we got level seven techs uh, of trade. So we'll use the quest of the, for the new world now, and now we can get colonists pretty much. Yay! We get colonists, kind of. Or right. at least we get actually we get uh, explorers and conquistadors. <laughs> colonists don't come until later. Uh, let's see. But at least the conquistadors and uh, explorers will actually be important. Because now we can do this, folks. Watch this closely. Because. Ah, there we go. Uh, the conquistadors tend to be more land, of course. If you guys haven't uh, seen my biz uh, Byzantine campaign, I never really made this many mistakes. <laughs> uh, for the army. Uh, it's pretty much conquistadors and generals. For the navy, it's pretty much uh, admirals and explorers. Explorers tend to be uh, the conquistadors of the sea. Explore the uh, Terra Incarnata of uh, of the sea, pretty much. All right, so we'll get that. Get him. Not that you still won't be affected by the uh, by by the attrition, of course, but uh, let's see. Because they still will be affected by the attrition. Negative two hundred. Uh, ask for military access. Oh, screw you too. All right. Um. But as you can see, I'm kind of getting a little ahead of myself, especially with the technology level I am at right now. At Sixteen ships. And I'm going to be losing all of my navy right there. Watch, just go away. Oh, nope, zero percent. Oh, nice. Got back into uh, familiar waters because, uh, of course, since I am at level, I'm still a low-level navy tech, so I can only go so far. Um, the higher the tech, the more further your ships can actually go. All right. Um. Since we got that now, I'm tempted to go after someone. I'm tempted to go after Ming for some reason. So if I'm going to do that now. I'm going to need a navy of my own. A more powerful navy, I should say. Um, because my navy now sucks. It sucks big 
something something insert all those words in that something something um Rush of colonists, nice. Oh, and by the way, I should actually, I should actually start to do this. And there we go. And yes, you actually do keep colonists for the quest in the new world, uh, at least by event. And some succeeded, some failed. Oh well. Looks okay, very cool. It's very cool looking. We're going to have a bigger Japan uh, soon. And I do tend to do this a lot and uh, when I'm not LPN. But, I mean, it's... It's kind of fun, I think. I mean, who doesn't? I mean, in, in all honesty, everybody cheats a little bit. It's kind of what makes it a little bit fun. Um, of course, in multiplayer, you can't do something like this. I think unless there's a... They set it to where you can, but uh, even it's a little bit strict on multiplayer. I haven't really played. I know I've seen actually some people ask me questions about multiplayer. I've actually never really bothered playing multiplayer with a with this game. I have a couple times with Hearts of Iron 2, um, but that was a long time ago, and as and my connection pretty much sucked so much. That's why I, I don't really bother playing multiplayer because my internet just sucks. So there you go. That's why I don't play multiplayer most of, sometimes. It depends on the game, of course. <coughs> but I just, I don't know. I just don't really like it too much, just because of the internet. Ah, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Jeez. All right. So, oh, and uh, for the people who are. Uh, commenting on my breathing. Uh, there's a reason why I breathe uh, as hard as I do or as weirdly as I do is because I got asthma. I do have a severe case of asthma so if I breathe quite a bit or breathe too hard or something to that nature it's because I got asthma. And I'm trying to breathe which means I'm trying to stay alive. Just so, Just to let you guys know that. Uh, okay. Just a little bit. Alright. So we're doing pretty well, I think. Uh, we pretty much got Taiwan uh, and the uh, other islands of Japan. The Kuril's. Uh, pretty much the islands that Russia, I think, some, I think Russia still have these islands up here, I believe. I think they do. For some reason, I'm thinking that. I think the Jap I think Japan still claims those islands as their own too. All right, you can see the Ottomans down here with the big letters that pretty much spell out Ottomans. Yeah, they're still kind of pretty big. Kind of wishing what's going on over here. That'd be nice to see. We got a banker from Taiwan. Very nice. Looks like uh, Taiwan's pretty much shaping up to the island that it should be. We're making a Japanese island. You got a lot of Japanese people on Taiwan. Like I wouldn't ever know. Alright. Uh, innovative and narrow-minded is uh, kind of important to for coloni coloni colonizing other areas. And as well having uh, adjacent controlled and uh, native aggressiveness. They're kind of important too. You know how you know new people colonizing a new land kind of are a little iffy on the people that are already there. You, you know how that goes. 
Um, so that kind of that's that affects this here. Of course, the regular is 50, so but you got your ups and downs, and your lefts and rights, and your diagonals, and your corners and spaces in between. Okay, um, there's someone on here. If I remember, actually does. I thought there was someone that, uh, ah, there it is, Colonial Range, okay, alright, so it's only Colonial Range, okay, fair enough, Royal Navies, uh, Colonist Chance, there we go, too, okay, and Global Colonial Growth, that's kind of important there, ooh, we got tea, in Taiwan, sweet, I like tea, all right. Look at this. Just look at that. That's just awesome looking. I think that is just grand. All right. I think I should build some other things. Uh, like I don't know, marketplaces here and there. Just trying to point that out, and if you can, and uh, for comments, uh, if you don't like the way I'm playing this by just uh, using kind of a cheats to achieve this, tell me about it. Tell me why you're concerned about it. If if you like it, if you don't, um, those are important. Uh, I haven't used any money. Just so you know, I won't. I won't do that or any kind of stability here so pretty much any of this I have used the infant beam uh, just for using just for the Japan issue uh, so I pretty much use that just to kind of as a new slate after that uh, I won't be using that uh, colonists I've used spies I've used I pretty much use for some of these haven't used one for the diplomats yet um, so if, so tell me, uh, you want me to use these, uh, codes for these, or not? Um, I'm just using it for this video, um, if you guys have any concerns about me using it, I will stop. Uh, if you don't, great, I'll keep using it. And even if so, I probably will still keep using it. Ooh. And it looks like because of my growth, oh, because of my colonial, uh, the colonial maintenance is uh, kind of cluttering the money supply. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's think. I want to probably should. By efficiency, I want production efficiency. Okay, so you're over you? national tax modifier. And the reason I'm showing that in this video is just um, just new things, basically. All right, so six percent. Okay. That's not good either. Okay. Um and of course that this is what affects everything else. Uh, affects the efficiency of it. So with that said Don't want to lose my. Well, it's gotta happen though. I'll keep that eight thousand there. I'll link. I can increase it to about. No, not there. I can increase it probably to right there. At a fifty-five percent growth rate. 
Oh hell, if I don't if I need the military, I'll get the military. I don't need the cogs right now. So let's get rid of those. Alright, that's fine. I can pretty much live with probably that. Alright, um, should actually get, get the trade up as well. Okay, so 380, getting 28 of it. You still have an embargo on me. Let's find out. Yes, they still have an embargo on me. Those cheap bastards. Okay, so. Let's see. Ooh, how about down here? Let's send some merchants down here now. And then even to India, of course. Okay, don't have access to Alexandria or to Lubeck. Okay. So now I'm starting to get uh, some resources from the new colonies. Like here, I'm getting tea from uh, Taiwan. Uh, and, and if I do remember, it's pretty random, I, th I do believe, for uh, resources. So fish, they don't know yet, they don't know yet. And naval supplies. Ooh, and gold. Nice. Nice. Gold here? That I will gladly accept. Sweet. And more fish. You gotta have fish. Okay, so they're still in the uh, Ming sphere's inf sphere of influence. So let's increase relations with Korea for right now. Because I think we have a good potential of being friends with Korea. Alright. Um, any more? Let's see if I can go a little higher. 74%. Alright. Cool. And you can see the different the maintenance right there, how much it does affect it. So I only get 22 uh, people people per year. That's people per year, folks. 37. That's not really qu quite a lot. So for down here, I'll make this my national focus. Just because it's not growing. And there you go. 72 per year. So... That will help it. Uh, let's get some more marketplaces up. There we go. And then I'll do some uh, navy production as um, for and build the docks. That will most likely help as well. As it does increase the local put production by 10. I mean, every little thing helps. You know that. Alright, so production. Let's get the lower parts done first. There we go. Fortification neglected. Uh, I'll do something about that later. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much what it's like to play as Japan. Kind of. It's pretty much a peaceful expansion. You can, you can actually do it, either a peaceful expansion to the east, or you can go aggressive into the west. Right now I'm doing a peaceful... Uh, pretty much got all this land here. Free land! 
Um, if you do it right, you can actually really get, gain quite a bit. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And you got all this opportunity here. I mean, it's just awesome. Yeah, I mean, even you can go after no Okinawa if you want. Uh, of course, you see me go after Okinawa a couple times uh, because of the Ming. They always come in to help out. So I don't really get the island either way, which kind of sucks. Yeah. Alright, so 420 here. Nice. 72 per year. Still not a How much can I? Ooh, nice. Alright, I can do it for right there. Or right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Right there, that's fair. Alright, cool. And 84. 85, 86, I think we'll do. Ooh, a large revolt. Damn. That is something I did not want. Oh, no way. They got that island? They got that little part? Pricks. Alright, let's build up some troops now. Oh, they're just going all over over here. That sucks. I'm sad. They're still capturing all these little islands here. That's not fair. That's not right. I wonder if I can go over to the island. Yes, I can. Nice. So I don't need an, a ship. I don't need a transport. I like it. Alright, so three. They got 4,000 there. They got 2,000 there. And they got nothing over there. Okay. So, I'm, so it's only this 2,000 there. Okay. That's good. So, 44 per year. They're just going on an all out rampage. Pricks. They must die. Of course, I probably will be heading for full centralization. As you can see, it does increase my infamy limit. So, there's a benefit to that. Ooh, lose 20% oh, decentralization, huh? Okay. I would go for that, but I'm just not. I'm not going for that. Nine thousand. Oh yeah, I can mobilize troops quick. Let's see what happens when I use them though. I'll probably run away scared. Move my troops up. They have full morale, I think. Are they? Yeah, they are. Ah. Decadence, huh? That's th nothing wrong with little decadence here and there. I see nothing wrong with decadence. Alright, uh, duh, 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 duh. 
Come on, I'm trying to wait him out. Oh, yes, got him. Sweet. Alright, now let's gain the morale and head back up. Or, let head north. F further north, please. Ouch, leg itches. Ouch. 257.3.6. That's kind of cool. I'm still getting a little population here. Ah, uh, the benefits. People are still going to occupy territories. You gotta love that concept. It's like, yeah, even though the rebels still occupy, eh, we're still going. We're still growing. Don't know who comes up with that kind of logic, but you know what? It works. At least for me. I see nothing wrong with that. Oh man. I really need to pick up the commentary. Alright, let's head back. Come on, let's go. Let's go off the rebels. It's not flawed. Son of a bitch. Oh, I hate you guys. You guys are so annoying. Just die already. Every last time here. You better not have a hundred or even two troops left. Thank you. I know that was kind of rushed. That was kind of rushed. I will admit that. But it was kind of necessary at the same time. Alright, so now they, this, uh, this province here gets 84 per year now. Almost up to its uh, peak. Once it reaches a thousand, it's pretty much a self-sustaining colony. Once it hits ten thousand, it's pretty much uh, people can't really occupy it. It's pretty much a province of its own. At least I think that's how it goes in this one. I think I think that's how it goes. If it's if it's below ten thousand, but above a thousand. Uh, you can still take it, kind of pretty much seize the colony. And then if it's above the 10,000, you can't do it like that. Haha, <laughs> I gotcha. Oh, Colonial Conquest. A Mozambique. Sexy. I always want to occupy Mozambique. Alright, let's go up here. Take back the islands. And then we'll do some foreign policy in our newly discovered colony of Europe. <laughs> Kicking some ass. I probably should send a navy up here. Well, let's send a navy up there. We're gonna go over here, take that province, and we're just gonna go around in circles and circles and circles. It's just gonna be irritating. Ah, thank you for dying. Alright, sweet. So we're done with that. Let's see. Let's see what's going on in Europe. France took Macedonia. England has. Oh, they got Laurius. Uh, in Athens. That sucks. Byzantines are still around. They... Wow. They really did a, quite a bit, I think. And Bulgaria exists as an independent nation and England has parts of... Andovia. Interesting. Very... And... Bul Wait, what? Wow, Bohemia really went further beyond its borders into Croatia and Slovenia. Huh, well, I guess you can't really argue with that. Of course, Castile taken parts of southern Italy. This is uh, quite 
Interesting. France is even taking parts of England. And, wow, look at England. Holy hell. Took Denmark and took part of southern Sweden. Jesus. Uh, and Castile is part, took Egypt. This is quite interesting, to say the least. Well, let's, uh, let's, uh, say hi to Novgrad. Novgrad. <laughs> I'm sure they're... I'm sure they're going to open up the markets. Well, no, Byzantium is. Thank you, Byzantium. Appreciate that. Now, all you need... Ooh, you got a market there. Sweet! Whoa, wait, wait, what? What the fudge? I click on the Trade Center and it goes to Genoa. What the hell? I have never seen that before. I have never seen this kind of bug before. That is definitely a bug. Trade Center that's in Thrace, but not in Thrace. Huh. Of course, we got the Holy Roman Empire. Little button thing there. So, we know what's going on there. You could still is kind of expansion happy right now. As they should be. Because that's what they did. Okay. Anyway. I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. <laughs> and that's an understatement, too. Uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. So 44 a year, halfway there. How you doing there, Taiwan? Ooh, it's nice. Keep going. Actually, you know what? I'll do this. Wait. I took a few other provinces, it looks like. Ming's just expanding like crazy, aren't they? It looks like they took some of the provinces down here. Huh. Damn. Crazy. <sighs> okay, um, pretty much after this, I'll get it all compressed, all that fun stuff. Try to go to sleep while I'm doing, while it's doing that. And I do mean sleep, folks. Considering it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. Work has really screwed me up big time. On my, at least based on my uh, sleep schedule. Now I'm sleeping in the mornings going to work at night. I'm so screwed up right now. As far as time. It's like, ugh. It's fun though, I guess. Uh... Okay, so we'll, we'll just... You know what? I'll probably... We're almost done here. As far as taking the uh, islands for ourselves. I'll keep sending uh, colonists. Hearing that irritated sound of... Six success of colonization. And of course, because once I get all that colonized, that's pretty much where I'm going to end the video. Um, I mean, it looks like it's going to be pretty much an easy occupation. No resistance. Quite nice. <coughs> and a cough right there. Ugh. Alright. Um, how's Taiwan doing? Taiwan's on its own. Sweet. I will build a fort first. I could build a trade center there too if I wanted to. That's cool. Oh, you're all, you guys are almost done. You're far from it. You need more colonists. I'll send more colonists over there. So do you. 
So do you. I'll just send one there for the hell of it. <coughs> wow. Alright. Coughing my guts off. Ugh. That's not even the start of it. Um. I don't know what else to say. It's like we've kicked so, so much ass. I've just lost what I wanted to say. I mean, we took Japan like no other, kind of. Well, we took quite a bit of a hit to taking uh, Takibana out. That was kind of fun, though. Now we got Japan itself. That's kind of, that's kind of the funny part right here. Uh, Fujiwara lost all of its cores. So, at, originally, when we were playing as Fujiwara, or when I was playing as Fujiwara, I lost all my cores when I created Japan. However, Tierra, uh, Minamoto, and uh, Takibana still has their, their cores, which is quite interesting, because I can't... I don't think I can recreate... No, I can't create Fujiwara anymore. That was it. Now it's just these three. That's kind of that kind of sucks in a way, huh? That well, that does suck. I could close foreign trade if I wanted to. That's not good. Oh, of course we don't have Western technology to do that. I mean, we need to be Westernized to close a trade center. <sighs> Crazy ideas. All right, and one more time, colonize that. Colonize that. Alright, that's already colonized. Colonize that. That gives me extra population now. Colonize that. Alright, you're so you're self sustaining right now. Great. Great. So I'll build a fort there. Build build a fort here. Build one here. And build one here. And come on, come on, almost there. Come on, come on, come on. And wait, that ship was going sideways. What the hell? That was trippy. That was just weird looking ship. I didn't know ships could sail that way. Huh. Anyway, I think I am ready to go to bed. Alright, uh, and with that, folks, we are done with this part of the video. Um, so, we've done a little bit of, of expansion to the uh, territories that we technically would own, or Japan would technically own right now. Well, except for Taiwan, they, but that's a different story. Uh, we've seen what Europe looks like. Very crazy, warlike and just parted I mean, hell I didn't know Britain I didn't know England was that expansionist holy hell I never see I still never seen that that that's just mind-boggling and look what the hell damn Syria is huge for for what it is huh okay so even Yemen jeez <laughs> All right, so I've I'm seeing things that I've never seen before. Quite an interesting LP here, folks. I think I don't know. Doesn't sound like it. Eh. Uh, though, in all seriousness, I hope you guys are enjoying to the best of my ability, um, especially with uh, what's on my plate. Um, oh, and by the way, I. S uh, got a letter from the school saying I owe money, so that's great. I'm glad I still owe someone money. My life is incomplete when I don't owe anybody money. Uh, anyway, enough of that. Um, so with that, I seriously hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, I know I, I sounded boring in this video and the last video. I do apologize. Um, I am doing the best I can to make it interesting and keep it interesting. Um, and of course I do say words incorrectly. That's fine. Glad someone's pouring them out. Like someone today. Uh, um, and I'll continue to produce LPs to the best of my ability as well. Um, 
I'm trying to figure out if I have anything else to say while we look around this map. Wow, that's just cool looking. Okay, oh, I can't get a royal marriage with them. Damn it. Why can't I get a royal marriage with them? I want a royal marriage with them. Uh, okay, um, and while, while I said that with my voice breaking so badly. Oh, wait, that was Bulgaria. What the hell? I didn't want Bulgaria. I wanted the Byzantines. Damn it. Thank you. I want to donate to the Byzantium cause. Alright, um, and, uh, yeah, I'll try to produce more videos tonight if, if anybody's willing to watch them. Um, and, uh, more videos next week as well. Um, uh, actually, starting Monday night. Maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. Depending on what, uh, what the situation is at the time. Um, but with that, folks, I will see you guys later. Um, actually, wait, I can't... I keep forgetting. I'm just... Just, uh not in it right now and my headset is be being nearly knocked off damn it all right so we'll just save it as japan um i already know what it is since i i hardly play as japan yeah come on thank you all right so let's look at the history from fujiwara to eventually japan Not too bad, I think, right? Right? And of course, we just occupy so much uh, more territory through colonization. You just gotta, gotta love that. Gotta love that concept. Anyway, um, with that, folks, I will see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed.